Today's video is going to be an overview of uh, my Woots furnace. Now, uh, I'm going to start off with a big disclaimer here, which is uh, this works for me, it's safe for me. I can't make any guarantees for you. So if you decide that you're going to use anything you see in this video uh, to build a furnace or burner for yourself, that's entirely on you. Um, if you don't understand how this works, don't build it. Uh, buy something. That's, that's my answer to you in case you're going to ask, oh, should I go out and build this? Will it do it? I can't tell you that. I don't know. Um, if you don't understand it, don't try it. Uh, we're dealing with flammable substances and very high temperatures, so stay safe. Okay, that said, um, first I'm going to show you all the parts of the Woots furnace, and then I'll show you how they go together, um, and essentially the, the reverse of this would be what I do at the end uh, to shut down the furnace. So first, let's take a look inside. If we can see in there anyways. Uh, it's a little tricky to see in there right now. Um, you see kind of down in this corner, corner of a round thing, any case, down there uh, at the bottom, you can see where the uh, burner comes in. I've just done a little bit of recoating uh, with some state night fire brick mortar. Um, the shell is uh, two inches of kaol with just a very thin skim coat of state night over that. Uh, and the top is the same. You may note this is made from an old uh, 30 pound propane tank. Um, so, Let's, let's move on to the bits and pieces here. On here I have, on the end of my, the outside end of my burner, I just have it capped with uh, appropriate size uh, pipe fitting. I'm just using a one and a quarter inch black iron pipe uh, as the burner. Um, and I have this so that at the end I can close this up and stop airflow through. The uh, sort of the, the innards of the burner, um, you can see here, I have the propane feed here. This is where my uh, diesel fuel comes in. Got a nice little needle valve on there for control. Basically, the diesel feeds in to this reservoir and the propane line runs through the middle of that reservoir to an O3O 3 jet just behind my outlet. So basically I can run this on just propane to get started and then open up the reservoir fills and that propane jet will at least reasonably well atomize and jet the diesel fuel in there. So. This just needs to screw on here enough that it is reasonably, yeah, there we go, reasonably secure. And by secure, I mean, I don't want the angle changing. Quick disconnect on my propane. Air feed with a gate valve, absolutely worth it get that gate valve. Again, only needs to screw in there enough to be reasonable. This way I can take it all apart quickly at the end. Um, when I shut this down, I want to be able to get the burner off here or the, you know, the outer portion of the burner and get that sealed up right at the end. Um, the, uh, Hose just runs to a, uh, a five gallon diesel can. I've got my propane here. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. So 
quick overview and um, at some point soon I'll be doing a, uh, an actual melt so you'll get to see it in action. Thanks for watching.